Hello everyone and welcome to another video. In this video, we are going to give Miss Mary Ellen a Courtney Moore style makeover. Um, I got this idea when one of my nieces really wanted a Courtney Moore doll, but she just did not have enough money to buy one. Since Courtney Moore hasn't been out very long, she's not very widely available used. So you're really looking at about $110 to buy one. Whereas you can get a used Mary Ellen for quite a bit less. Here's some examples off of eBay. So my goal was to create soft permanent curls. So I did some experimenting first with um, one of my wigs that's not in very good condition. I tried using a flat iron. I tried using a curling iron. Um, but I think the heat is too intense with both of those because the curls were kind of crunchy. The next thing I tried was a hot water dunk, just like the standard, you leave it in for about five seconds. And that does create curls, but it didn't really create the permanent curls that I was looking for. So I came up with this method. This method is basically a variation of a hot water dunk. First off, you're gonna put all of her hair into rollers, and I use like medium, medium, small rollers. Um, and you wanna do smaller sections um, to create a lot of curls. Then I brought the water to boiling and I let it cool off to 165 degrees. And then I also have another bowl of cold water so that we can just instantly cool her hair afterwards. But you're going to hold her hair under there for about 10 seconds. And I will note that there is a possibility that this much heat on her hair can cause damage. I didn't find any in the hair that I tested, but it's always a possibility. So be sure to ask your parents permission before you do this. And whenever you're sure that all of the curlers have been dunked in the hot water for at least 10 seconds, you're gonna go ahead and put her hair into the cold water. And you're gonna leave it there for a little while just to make sure that um, the hair gets completely cooled. Now that all of the hair is cold, we can go ahead and remove the rollers. We don't have to wait for the hair to dry because it's actually the cold that's going to lock the curls into place. It's kind of like what I talked about in another video of mine where their hair is synthetic, so it's made up of a lot of plastic little fibers. So it's actually like whenever you cool that down that it gets locked into place. It doesn't really have anything to do with whether it's dry or not. Okay, so here's the curls right now. We're just going to wait for this to completely dry, so I will be coming back tomorrow to finish this up. Okay, now that her hair is completely dry, we can go ahead and start styling it. To begin with, what I'm going to do is called separating the curls. So I'm just going to take these big curls and I'm just going to kind of pull them apart. I usually separate them into two sections, um, but on the bigger ones, you can even like pull them apart three times. This part really just depends on what your preference is and what you think looks good. Okay, now that her hair is separated out and styled, we are going to give her a new outfit to complete her makeover. Thank you so much for watching and if you like that video and would like to see more that are similar to it, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Thanks!